Going to you, Grabs. You have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody thought that they could live off of your your hard work. Um, the sense of entitlement is very wild. The Seven of Swords represents the boundaries that you've had to create for yourselves over the years, and especially this year, because one thing that you crabs are starting to open your eyes to realize is is that you have to learn how to essentially be suited and booted when it comes to people who are familiar faces because sometimes those familiar faces will essentially uh be your weakness right those are people that will come around you and give you a sob story and depending on your history with this person you crabs can be moved by them, right, emotionally. And because of that, you can you can tend to end up helping them when they, they're hyenas. So they are on some dysfunctional stuff. So what's going on here is you crabs are in a situation where you realize that um, you having standards, having decency is a natural deterrent for people, regardless of whether you know them or not that wants to come into your life, anyone that would be a parasite, that would wanna come into your life and, and drain you dry of your resources, your happiness, your mental health, your spiritual health, right? Physical health, the Ace of Pentacles, and that's exactly what it is that they thought that they could do, right? Um, some people that you've met, especially this year, some exes that you've reconnected with, that you're no longer in communication with, the two of swords you have the, you got the two of swords and the ace of pentacles they <clears throat> thought that they could essentially do this <clears throat> this very same thing which is to um appease to you and then the next thing you know you crabs are coming out of your pockets sharing your resources because you crabs are a zodiac sign that will share your resources you will you know uh so but that didn't happen and the thing is that the Two of Swords represents they don't want to realize the fact that you and them don't have, you do not have a connection with them anymore because the trust essentially has been broken. The two of you do not have a spiritual connection. It takes two. They don't want to accept that. They want to be delusional about it and make it seem like, well, why is it that you crabs are out here being so... Uh, dysfunctional and why is it that y'all are giving them a hard time no it's not that you crabs are giving them a hard time what it is is the trust has been broken you know for the ex this person treated you like trash the two of you weren't compatible okay they came back you gave them a second chance and then they they squandered or they messed up that second chance and then for people that you crabs um may have met that are new to you, they squandered that one opportunity that they had with you too. So it's like, you're you're trying to meet someone that isn't gonna mess this up, you know, who who isn't gonna look at people like they're replaceable, try to, you know, treat everybody in their life like they're replaceable, trying so hard <coughs> to prove it. And I don't know who they be trying to prove it to, themselves, I don't know. And then the thing is that, um, the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles represents because all of this ego tripping ended up really playing playing themselves or, or playing them. They end up playing themselves because they on their face. <laughs> you know, they, they have a poor, the Five of Pentacles, they have a poor mentality. Their mentality is not, is not, uh, good. <laughs> they're in there lifestyle is not good the decisions that they're making is not very wise and so because of that the page of pentacles represents you know they thought that they would be here they thought that you know what i mean that they could just live off of other people and the five of pentacles represents the reality that's not really what's going on you know but they but they project themselves to be like this like <coughs> so excuse me, so royally and trying to create, um, you know, pedestalize themselves 
and put themselves up there like they have they have all these finances when you crabs were the ones that were basically supplying them well not just you but anybody that they're in a relationship with and obviously that didn't work out whatsoever they played themselves page of cups in the hierophant represents how you crabs are going off you're, you're trusting yourselves you're you're trusting your judgment trusting your discernment um and hey you know trying to meet someone new just because you trust yourself doesn't mean that you can't get fooled right and if you end up being with somebody or meeting someone rather that isn't everything that they make it seem like they are or better then you'll just stop talking to them you know you don't have to it doesn't have to be this overly complicated thing the hierophant right represents simplification the hierophant is about knowing what you're doing the hierophant is about having intention right because the divine makes the intention right being in touch with your own standards, I guess morals or whatever, but being in touch with your own your own standards, your own decency. And because you're in touch with it, a lot of you crabs understand that, it's, that you're gonna know exactly what it is that you wanna do. You know what you wanna do now. You wanna meet somebody, get to know them. And it's like, there's, and see, this is what the Hierophant represents. There's no fear behind that. There's There's no fear, there's no kind of, okay well you know you hesitating and being scared you're not scared they are right if a person doesn't want a real relationship they're the ones who's scared and so the page of wands <coughs> the page of wands excuse me represents how and since that's the case um you you win you win the day you succeed because that's part of why that's part of why some people fail. It's because they come into a situation, regardless of if it's love, work, whatever it is, and it's like they're confused. They don't really wanna they don't really know what they wanna do. They haven't really made their mind up as to what their own intention is. Maybe they may not necessarily be quite good at whatever it is that they decide they decided to get into but they still have an understanding of what they want to accomplish. Some people don't even know that. And because of the fact that they lack this level of understanding, it causes them to, to lack. It causes them to have to deal with the consequences of their actions because when a person is confused like that and they don't know what it is that they want, guess what's gonna happen? That's gonna, they, they end up making things quite difficult for themselves. But you crabs haven't done that. You've made things easy for yourself because of the hierophant. Because, and this is also the type of person that you're looking for as well. You're looking for a hierophant too. A person who is spiritually connected too, divinely connected. Uh, praise for some of you, right? Whether it's religious, whether it's spirituality, you want someone that understands that they get their standards and their decency from the most high is the point that I'm trying to make, right? You don't want to have to deal with a, a scoundrel, a person that is dysfunctional, a person that has turned away from a good value system. And then now all it is that they care about is money, but they never have it because they spend the money. They're worried about spending it but they do not care about actually making it. There's been so many times I try to teach people because I've studied it and I'm doing it myself, but there's so many times I've tried to teach people who did not know how to make money this, how to make money, and they so caught up with not listening to what I have to say. I'm on the phone trying to teach them. They get off, oh, I got somewhere to go. But you like spending all this amount of money though. You know, maybe it's not even about money, regardless of whatever it is, right? That's the point that I'm trying to make. You, you know, you want someone that has a good value system. All this, because they worship money. People who don't have a very good value system, they worship attention and money, right? All of this attention and money that they're looking for, that is their divinity, attention and money.
right? So with all of this money that they're looking for, this attention that they're looking for, they don't even, they, they, they so caught up in the lost value system. They don't even want to learn how to actually make it, how to generate it, right? Even though they want all of this, even though they like spending it, right? And you crabs aren't even talking about money being at the top of the list. You're talking about a person's character and this is what you want. And this is why it is that you crabs are winning. This is why your lifestyle is getting better because you come, because you're coming in, you know what you want. And the reason why you know what you want is because your life is clean. Your life is clear. You have made that connection with your divine source, whatever it is. And so it clears the way you make it. Things become a lot more simplistic and simple. Is why it is I say that simplicity is good. Being boring, which is not actually being boring, that's the lie. But being boring is a good thing. All of this complications and all of that, that's that's the sign of a person who's poor and is unsuccessful. They want all this complications. Oh. Because even when it comes to money, money should be boring on time. Boring, on time, on time, boring. All of this, I need it. I need excitement. That's gambling. Go to a casino if you want excitement with money, because that's what casinos are: excitement with money. If you want something real and sustainable, boring, and it's not even. Again, it's not even boring. But I'm using the money thing because. People who have the parasitic mindset, they want money so much. And what will they even, first and foremost, they spend more money than they make. They don't want to learn how to generate or make the money. And then on top of that, they don't want to learn. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles right here is about how, because you crabs very much so, you're in a very good position. All the people that gave you a hard time, you get a chance to actually see how they are. They on their face. They're doing bad. And you crabs see this and you can see that you're doing much better than them without trying to. That's the thing. This is not a comparison. This is just you have money, but money is not the main goal. So let's clarify um, the Eight of Pentacles. Say, look, you have money. <laughs> You've got money. You know what I'm saying? But the bit, but the thing that you have that means more than money is self-respect. So you have uh, the Three of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Tower, and then you have the Page of Cups to clarify the Eight of Pentacles for you crabs. The Three of the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, it breaks your heart to a certain extent because you don't want to see people just just doing bad and downtrodden. But at the same time, this is how it ends up for people who don't want to listen to their conscience, who don't want to listen to their own consciousness who don't want to do right by themselves and other people. They live a very confused, dysfunctional, wild, too fast paced lifestyle that, it, that they can't keep up with. At some point, a person has to slow down, but they're so caught up with needing to do everything fast, they don't seem to understand that you need to take a break, that they need to slow down, right? The Page of Wands, the Tower, and the Page of Cups it speaks to, and now you crabs get a chance to do whatever you want. Y'all are sitting on top of the world because you don't have to deal with a bunch of goofies, with a bunch of, you know what I'm saying? People that would give you a hard time, that's trying to emotionally tear you down, just get close to you sick so that they could start sabotaging, sometimes intentionally, other times 
non-intentionally but they but they want to gamble right they they worship money so much no you crabs have your spirituality intact you have your religion intact you have your you have your north you have your true north intact right you have your direction in life where you want to go intact so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video um trying to make my youtube channel go to 100k subs smash the subscribe button smash the like button hit the notification bell appreciate you